Bonds are going up, equities are going up, and January is said to be one of the best months in decades for equities and bonds at the same time. Shows three things. First, equities and bonds continue to be heavily correlated. Not a good thing because it shows that it is a monetary factor. Again, this is led by an improvement in the global liquidity conditions. And therefore, it's not just fundamentals. It's not just improvement in the perception of earnings, in the perception of the ability of issuers to repay their debts. This is a monetary factor. And being a monetary factor, the risk of elevated inflation for longer is also very high. Uh, another relevant factor about the recovery is earnings. And in earnings, we need to pay attention to the problem of guidance. What are companies going to say to their investors about the future? It is not going to be so much about the earnings published because we are seeing already the downgrades. And once those downgrades are embedded in estimates, then companies publish and they always sort of, quote unquote, beat, huh? the fake beats. No, you downgrade first and then you say that the earnings were, were better than expected. So earnings are going to be something that is important, but not the driver. What matters is guidance. What are companies really seeing? Are companies investing more? Are companies seeing an environment of better margins? That is what we need to monitor in, the, in this part of the, particularly in the end year results and the first quarter results. More importantly, the ability to repay debt. We have to look at cash positions. We have to look at the ability to repay the maturities in a year of rising maturities all over the world. So, when we think about the market right now, it seems that it is giving us, in January, a great opportunity to reduce exposure to the more cyclical part of the landscape, to the more cyclical part of the asset base. That is what we need to think of going into the second part of the year, because the picture remains challenging. Hmm?